Hi everyone, I'm pretty sure you have come to this channel because you like to watch amazing videos about China innovation. If what I thought is right, this video is definitely for you. So get ready to see some of the newest advanced technologies and amazing innovation taking place in China. Hey, what's up everyone? Arthur is back with something amazing to show you. So click the subscribe button and get notified to keep you updated with what's new in here. And so without further ado, let's proceed to my number one. Number one is China towards standardized urban rail with newly developed subway train. China unveiled a home-developed subway train, taking the country's first step towards standardized urban rail transit. The train, developed by CRRC Qingdao Sifang Company, has independent intellectual property rights, with over 85% of components fully made in China. It can run at a design speed of 120 km per hour with autonomous operation. It would be the first line to run under a national standard. Number 2 is UAVs in China's Xinjiang to assist with maintenance of electricity substation. A 220 kV power substation in northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region has begun to use drones to conduct inspection of its facilities, which greatly reduces time needed for manual inspection. Drones have been set up to patrol over 100 flight points covering all outdoor equipment. The move has greatly reduced time needed for manual inspection and improved efficiency. Number 3 is Smart New Pushing Bullet Trains Put Into Service China's new pushing bullet trains integrate 5G, cloud computing, and other modern technologies, offering passengers a smarter journey. The new models, CR400AF-Z and CR400AF-BZ, have a design speed of 350 km per hour. The Fushing Bullet Train series have so far been operating in all provincial level regions of the Chinese mainland. Number 4 is Autonomous Minibus Trialed in Nanjing, East China. An autonomous minibus named Mini Robobus is being tested on an Echo Tech island in Nanjing, East China. Developer hopes it will replace traditional buses someday in this pilot zone. Number 5 is Explore Astronauts Gym at the Chinese Space Station.
Let's take a look at the full-sized model of the Chan-He core module and check out the Space Gym at the Space Station which is equipped with a bicycle, space treadmill, and other machines to help the astronauts work out. Number 6 is Shenzhou 12 manned spaceship successfully docks with space station core module. China's Shenzhou 12 manned spaceship has successfully docked with the space station core module Chan'e, according to the China Manned Space Agency. The spaceship completed orbital status setting after entering the orbit and conducted a fast autonomous rendezvous and docking with the front docking port of Chan'e, forming a three-module complex with the cargo craft Chanzhou 2. Number 7 is Masterly underwater pilots perform maintenance on China's deep water oil gas platform. A group of underwater pilots are undertaking highly demanding tasks of pipeline laying and equipment maintenance on China's deep sea number one energy station in the South China Sea, with remote manipulation of robots diving into depths of up to 1,500 meters. The 100,000 metric ton deep water semi submersible oil production and storage facility independently developed and built by China's largest offshore oil producer, is about to be operational after four months of facility installation and offshore commissioning work. It is expected to supply 3 billion cubic meters of deep-sea natural gas each year to Guangdong, Hainan, and Hong Kong. And that's pretty much it for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.